move on. Unfortunately, we didn't get a heal out of that. Not that I necessarily need it, but it's always nice to get. Let's see a couple treasure chests here. What does this say, though? What does this say? Tell me. As you reach the top, a mean wind spirit blows you back down. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Damn it, I got hit by the spikes, but I will take it. Now, this is kind of important the way that you have to do this. You have to get the jade hemp. You don't have to do that one first, the jawed hemp, sorry. Uh, you don't have to necessarily do that one first, but you need to get both of these. And, and the ground steel, as if I'm going to be... I don't know, crafting at this point? This is after the point of no return. Is there going to be another hot house? But you need to get both of those before you can head down here because the whole room starts shaking and the floor disappears. That is no good. And it had to fade out. And now you can't get the items should you have missed them before. And I got to level up. Okay, are you going to... What are you doing? Are you going to explode on me? Don't explode on my face. That would be bad. They didn't... Oh, here we go. I was about to say, they didn't drop a chest. They still didn't drop a chest. Damn it. So, yeah, like I said, you can't uh, grab what's over there. If you had missed it, let's go ahead and use this level up. Uh, like I said, I have over 50 points now in Thief. Uh, let's put a 52nd point in there. I believe that the, uh, the accessory that you get for 40 points in Thief... Seriously? You guys shut up again? Uh, would give you plus 40 to agility, but since the brownie ring gives me plus 55 to everything, I don't, I'm not too upset that I didn't get that, to be honest with you. I would rather have the brownie ring than damn near anything. Just so good, so good. So we need to hop up here. I didn't think we actually did need to hop, but we do when we find new enemies. Don't hit me with your damn fire. Friggin' burning man status just pretty much paralyzes me. I am not a fan of that. I am not a fan of that. Well, when it's hit on me, I'm sure I could use it on people. Really? A bronze? You're giving me Minos bronze? If I could use the fireman status on people, which I can, it would be much appreciated that I also made them vulnerable. Alright, how do I get to that chest over there? Ah, I see. You cannot trick me for long. Let's bust out the flail. And I thought I could reach it from there. I, I didn't, though. Let's head up here and grab ourselves a chocolate lump. Much appreciated. Now I can uh, head up this way. Are you going to give me a route back? Gonna give me a way back here. If if the warbot dies, I'm not gonna be overly concerned about it, to be honest with you. He he can just go for all I care. Yeah, there we go. And I had to jump off that way. And down goes the warbot. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> is that really what he looks like when he's dead? Oh my gosh. Uh, he's just a flybot now. He's no longer equipped for war, but he's equipped for hover. So let's head up here onto the sixth floor we go. This, I believe, has like 10 or 12 floors. It's been a while since I've been here, to be honest with you, so I'm not 100% sure. He can still read all this, and that's all that really matters. The silver aid breaks. A fire spirit lights a candle. Huh. Interesting. Let's head down here. Pretty much the only way I can go. And can I hit this guy? Is he going to die? That is not his weakness. And hit this guy. He died, though. He definitely died. Oh, that was right on the money with that with that shot there. And a gumdrop. Very nice. Now, this looks like a silver egg to me. So, can I hop? It looks like I should be able to. What do you want me to hit him with? I don't think I can do much anything else. I, nothing else reaches. What are you doing to me? So let's pretty much head back the way that we came until I can hit that guy. Hopefully a way opens up unless Warbot just hangs out down here. No, there's nothing up here as far as I can tell. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been here. I can't hit this guy with the flail. I believe... Yeah, jab, jab, jab. I don't really have anything else that's a distance. Uh, by the way, the staff is also a bash weapon that would even out at three each. Um, not that I'm, not that it really matters. I can't make that jump. You're not letting me do it. Maybe I can make it from over there then. That would be likely. That would probably be likely at this point. I sw that is right on the money with that flail shot. How dare you say I've missed it? They're, they are not letting me over there. Hold on while I figure this out yet again. Okay, I figured it out. I have to do 
the mace from down here. <laughs> and down go the meta balls. And that doesn't seem to have done much for me just yet. But yeah, I have to use the mace from down there. That was my problem. They respawned? Wh whatever, we're moving up. <laughs> Back on the... Wait, sixth floor. Feel like we were here before, but it's time to drop another save. Ready to go on, as you ha can see, I have resurrected Marshall the Warbot. Can I hit these with this? Oh, damn you. Alright, let's go around the spikes. Stop standing on the spikes. Do I need to slash these? I swore I was able to do that with... Hmm. Alright, let's read this. A pile of night corpses arranged by a water spirit according to their bravery. That's, that's nice to hear. How dare you say I'm not doing damage to you. Nux? No, still no damage. These guys are only immune, or only good, only weak against magic. Let's go. Let's go. Just salamander. And this is why I don't use grails very often. This is why I don't use grails. I do have uh, a few of them. I had to sell some in order to get some money, but this is why I don't do it. This is why I don't do it. I, yeah, okay. I need to hit that one first. Then I can head up here and hit this one. And then we can move on and avoid all this and take these guys on. Do some good damage here. <laughs> oh, look at that damage. Oh, I can't avoid these. Oh, maybe I did. And those three switches have opened up the way further on. Where we can find more treasure chests, more of the switches that are very easy to figure out. <laughs> For Cena Iron in there, once again, unless you're going to give me a way to craft, this is all very, very useless. Is there anything else down here? Nope. Okay, so let's light these things up. Ah! Uh, one, two, three. There we go. This one's probably like five, two, three. No, there are three as well. One, two, three. That should have opened up. Well, not this side. Didn't open up that side at all. This side then. Some path through here. <gasps> what have I done? Every Whoa! The world is crumbling beneath me. This is probably not good. But the wall has disappeared. So now we can continue on. It don't make me use the spirits on you guys. I hate doing the spirits on you guys. Uh, let's just grab this treasure chest and I will move on. I hate using all my damn magic on these guys, to be honest with you. They don't give you very much experience or money or anything like that. So let's just head up to the ninth floor. Damn you, it must be night. <laughs> these guys keep on showing up. On two yellow stones, the first fire spirit lights a candle. So I need two yellow stones here. They're not letting me through the... Oh, it's raised. Didn't look right to me. Alright, so there is one. Yellow one. And I can take these guys on. Not with the flail, though, unless I do elemental damage, which is always nice. And I can take you guys on this way. There you go. Down they go. Easy enough. And I should be able to head down here and get the second one, which should open up the pathway out of here. So let's head up. Back to the ninth floor. Oh, it must still be on the ninth floor. And it is time to save once again. Just in case. Just in case. Another Angel Grail used because when else am I going to be using them? And it is time uh, to continue on. Let's turn that one on in case I forget later on. And we can kill knights. These are freaking chess piece knights. What the hell? <laughs> and he, he jumped in a straight line. Knights can't jump in a straight line. You have to do a Tetris move. <laughs> a pile of night corpses whose death are blessed according to their bravery. The second fire spirit lights a candle. Oh, you guys respawned, you dicks. I just wanted the treasure chests that were here. Give me the, the Minos bronze. Yeah, look at them jump in a straight line. You guys have no knowledge of chess. Stop jumping so I can hit you. Stop it. Damn it, you damn horse. Stop stepping on the spikes. Spikes are bad. Freaking AI. What are you going to do? Damn it! <laughs> I stepped on the spikes. I didn't mean to, though. I didn't mean to pick a gummy frog out of that chest. And then we can head over here and hit this one. 
And now if we head in over here, we can light this one up as well. That one would not light up until we hit the other one. Let's finish this guy off. So hopefully he spawns a treasure chest. He does not. So let's just make it out of here then. There might be another guy that's alive, but I don't really care anymore. Let's just head up to the 11th floor. What do you have to say this time? What do you have to say this time? A deceitful marionette. When its strings are cut, the last fire spirit lights a candle. Marionette implies a puppeteer. Well, technically, it really is a puppeteer. Um, if I remember correctly, marionette refers to the puppeteer, not the puppet. I could be wrong on that, though. Have they really bunched all up in the corner there? Okay. Uh, I think from this angle, it'd be best to use the lance on them. And they're probably going to be weak against uh, Wisp. I don't think it matters what magic I use, but I believe the Lance works best for this kind of situation. Let's use all eight of my Wisp spirits at once. Go, Wisp. And just like two should be enough here. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Down they go. And as a result of killing them, they have opened up this right here. Let's go down here and we can grab an Angel Grail. Very nice because I've been using them. Now let's switch back to a weapon that I'm actually proficient at. And we can head up here and three Strange Fire Spirit Brothers. When they enter together, Nature Spirit will open the door. So, yes, that has opened this up. And now we are on the 12th floor. Wow, we are doing pretty good here. Pretty good. And we can step on that, I guess, beneath a hidden Yellowstone to Nature Spirit. Sleep, if you wake them, they will knock down the door. Okay, that makes sense. Let's grab another Angel Grail. They're expecting your companion to, do, to die quite often here. And there is a Golden Goddess statue. Very nice. And I've opened up another uh, yellow symbol here. Nope. Open that up. And they said that would open something up. Can I hop down here? Or over here? There we go. But that doesn't seem to lead anywhere. How about if I hop down here? No? I see another treasure chest. It's just a matter of how do I get it. I possibly need to go back down the stairs in order to get over there. And then head this way? No. No, that's not it at all. That did not work in the slightest. Is, it, is all this still open? Yeah, this should still be open. Do I hop down here? Hmm. I know there's a way to get that treasure chest. Hold on while I figure it out, though. Okay, I have found it. I don't think I need to uh, unlock any of these uh, little button things first, but the secret passage is actually right there. And this will lead me over to grab the Altina Alloy. Once again, if you're not going to give me a way to craft, this will all be in vain. But with this Golden Goddess Sashi right here, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I've been Ballers Cube. I've been joined, as always, by Loki and some robot that we picked up along the way. I think his name was Marshall. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.